causes uh, very simple. So there are runners. Visual impairment needs someone to run with her. So we have teams of, of people running and we created a braille medal for them. In fact, I think it's the first braille medal in the world that we made. And of course, as we all know, that braille is the language of touch. And if you run your fingers over it and you can understand braille, it says, I land fingers on and I inspire. So that is one of the things. Apart from uh, other communities that we do focus on, the uh, visually impaired community is very, very important. Um, the next uh, lady I'd, I'd like to request to say a few words is, is uh, Dr. Mini Nambudri from Apollo. Uh, Apollo is a partner with us across all cities uh, throughout India. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much to Apollo. And if you can just give them a few uh, uh, bits of, uh, a few, some idea on what it means to have uh, a movement like this. She can just donate it to anybody around her. So that is really a wonderful initiative. Thank you so much, uh, Doctor, and thank you, Apollo. Um, our next guest, very, very special, my dear friend, Devika Bhojwani. So when we thought of uh, doing this, uh, um, the Pinkathon uh, four years ago, I, was, I wanted to promote the idea of a healthy lifestyle for women. You know, that women should pay attention to their health. They don't. It starts with my mother, who, when she's six, says, oh, nothing, nothing's the matter. I'll just have some haldi ka and it'll be fine. And you have that on your channel all the time, I'm sure. But the important thing is that it should change. They should say, no, it's, it's not going to work like that. Today, we have so much lifestyle disease that we are afflicted by, right from uh, diabetes and heart disease even. Today, a lot of cancers are being called lifestyle diseases. And what do we mean when we call a disease a lifestyle disease? It means that we are adopting a way of life that invites disease. And that we need to change. If we don't change it, we are all going to be saying, okay, I'm 40, I'm going to have diabetes. Okay, I'm 40, I'm going to have a stent. Okay, I'm 40, I'm going to be sick. It doesn't have to be like that. So Devika, in fact, suggested to me, why don't we start talking first about breast cancer? I knew nothing about it. I didn't even know that Devika had had breast cancer. She was such a close friend of mine. I didn't know that she had had breast cancer and she had beaten breast cancer. That was another thing that we don't talk about the diseases. We feel embarrassed to talk about the diseases. To say the word breast in India is a taboo on TV, on your channel also, also. They, they have to remove the word breast. We must do something about that, now that we're partners. Yeah, yeah, we have, we'll go there, we'll go there. So all these words that the ministry feels are not, uh, what? Not happy words, I don't know what. They just remove those words. You say the word sex, you say the word breast, any of the words that are actually normal, everyday words that we need to be using and talking about, we are not allowed to talk about them. We have, we have to spread awareness that the key to beating issues, to resolving issues, is to talk about them, create awareness so people can make the right choices, informed choices. So I'd like to thank Devika for really teaching me all of these things and being here today. And I realized all this because she hadn't been able to tell me. She didn't tell anybody except her uh, doctor. <laughs> and, and she's been with us right from the beginning. So thank you, Devika, for coming. And do share your story with the people. Milind, it's been wonderful to be part of the Pinkathon movement. I would say it's not just an event, it's a movement. Lacks of women today. Not Since the day I met her and look at her today, absolutely gorgeous. And I know you have a lot, you have a lot to share. Yes, I know. Give me the mic, give me the mic. Here you are. I know everyone's expecting me to say a lot, but I feel very small amongst these amazing, incredible women. I have... I feel speechless actually, you're all very, very inspiring sitting here and thank you Raj for being a part of this amazing cause with Colours but I have to say after hearing you two lovely ladies and your stories about running more than the 10 kilometers, I'm embarrassed now so I might just want to sit down but I have to tell you um, two things before I do. Milind is a bully, he's been since I moved to India. I grew up in Australia where awareness is very big about a lot of things, um, from pap smears to going to the gynec to getting your breast checked. It was never taboo, so for me, since I was little, I would always be on my way to the doctor or in school, we were taught how to give ourselves a breast um, check. 
So I'll start from there. I was 16 and I checked my breast because I was told in school that's what you have to do and lo and behold I found a lump and I was like, oh my god, what is going to happen now? So I've had three lumps removed but they were not benign, so uh, thank god. But then my mother got breast cancer and um, she fought it and first stage she caught it and she won, she's, she's a survivor as well, but obviously, um, <laughs> thank you. Um, but because it's now hereditary, I have to make sure that I keep getting checked again and again and again, and that's okay. Um, so when Milan bullied me and said, you're running for my pingathon, um, it wasn't actually the running, it was the breast cancer that it represented, which is what I wanted to run for my mother, because um, my mom, to me, is a superwoman. She can do like 500 things at a time, so what's one run for me? Um, and I have to, I can't lie, I didn't want to tell him, but I was in LA and the Pinkathon was in like a week and I had to fly back and he said, I hope you haven't forgotten and I was like, no, 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 I've been training this whole time and um, I got back and my friends made me go out that night and I was like, oh my god, I have a marathon to run. So no training, no sleep, I hadn't eaten and I the worst way to exercise, by the way, please do not take any of my advice of what I'm giving you. I'm just saying that he's a bully, so I have to be there. And I'm stretching and, and I'm looking like I'm, I'm really ready for this. And Milan's like, so you, you're, you're good? And he said, everyone's been training for the last 40 days. And I'm like, oh my God, I've never ran 10 kilometers in my life. I don't know what I'm gonna do. And then he puts me right in the center at the, at the start line. There are five girls here, five girls there, all barefoot proper athletic runners and I'm like oh my god so I'm posing because I don't know what else to do I'm posing with the camera thing we had it let's distract people and they're all giving me these looks like oh this girl is going to be useless I don't want to be useless in life so and there's hundreds of girls behind me all ready to run and I'm thinking oh my god this is going to kill me and um, and suddenly it goes off and you know what I said to myself okay let's just do this for my mom what would she do? She would just get through it, right? So I ran my ass off. We're not allowed to use this on TV, but I can use it here because I really did. And I just kept running, running, running. And now I have a very short attention span, so I can get distracted easily. So I just kept trying to focus the whole time. And then, you know, they, they show you those signs, right? You know, um, the five kilometers, this, that. So they trick you in the end. They don't say one kilometer, they say a thousand meters. Now I read it as a hundred. So I got so excited, I was like, a hundred meters to go? I started sprinting. And then I realized, oh my God, that said a thousand. Now you can't stop because your legs are gonna give way, especially if you're not a runner like Milan. So I ran the whole thousand meters all the way to the finish line. And I have to say, I came 13th that day. <laughs> and I no training, no nothing. And um, I'll run this year because I haven't run after that. <laughs> but I will run this year. Uh, now I'll do it. <laughs> 21, yes, let's do it. But I'm, I'm just so proud. Milan has been um, an amazing friend. And like everybody knows, he's so inspiring. When he ran 100 kilometers, I was tired just watching him on the television. But, um, you know, we need more people like this in our country because growing up in Australia, we were aware. And uh, I'm in my country now, and I want every girl to be as aware as I was when I was growing up. So thank you, all of you, for your amazing work. I didn't speak too long. You're very inspiring, Anusha, really. I know, I know all, the, all the, the people who follow you and everything you do, and they, they, they are so inspired. Um. It's so fit, thank you. Go with inspiring partners, Bajaj.
Thank you, thank you. Thank you. In Pune, my Maushi, who's like 66 or something. Marathi Bolu? Okay, it's become a Maushi Maji Maushi. No, she, she ran, and my two nieces, who are five, they also ran. Translator, Anyway, that was just my nieces ran for your pinkathon, is what I wanted to say. Okay, before we take the group picture, so now we have announced the uh, register. Thank you. 